Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Way That I See It. My name is Lisa Sue Fox, and this is my podcast. Now, excuse me if there is any background noise. I'm in a crazy house at the moment, so, but I wanted to get this done. This is really in the space where I really wanted to talk about tonight's topic, which is money. Money, 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 money. And we've touched on this lightly in other episodes, and I've talked about this a lot on social media, on my Next Level Lucy page, over in my private Facebook group, Next Level Life with Lucy Sue Fox. Like, I've talked about money a lot because I think that there is a huge amount of stigma around money. There's a huge desire for money. And then there's also a huge duality and separation between people's desire for money and the stigma for money. And they find themselves trapped between wanting and desiring more whilst not desiring so much that people judge them whilst also not wanting to be an evil person because apparently only evil people have money and also wanting to be so wealthy they can make a difference, but not so wealthy that people want their money. Right. And so what happens is we have so many beliefs that conflict each other. We have so many conditional beliefs and limiting beliefs around money that are basically stories that we've picked from society and those in line with our values dictate how we behave around money. So I know people who have grown up poor, who've got terrible money mindsets, people who've grown up wealthy, who've got terrible money mindsets. I know people who have, you know, grown up the opposite and have great money mindsets. And ultimately it's what the work they've been willing to do on that mindset to rewrite and recondition those stories. And so what I wanted to share with you tonight is some of you know, my wisdom, my lessons in it comes to money and actually doing this, uh, recording this tonight, my ebook at the time of airing this podcast anyway, has just gone live called Next Level Life, the money edition. So I'm going to be doing some free ebooks, a free ebook series all about kind of my condensed view and some early steps, you know, kind of like what I call prequel steps if you wanted to jump into any of my courses, but these ebooks are designed to give you that kickstart. And so the first one of those is live, Next Level Life, the money edition. And what I share with you in here is three of the key stages that we have to go through if we want to transform our relationship with money. And I do basically a little secret video for you that's embedded in that document. So you have to download it to get hold of it. And I talk about what really is the missing piece. Why can't people break through that money barrier? And so what I first want to say about when it comes to money is money is ultimately just an energy. Money, like anything else in our life, our weight, our relationships, our job, is simply what we believe that we're available for. So we attract and manifest and create and earn and spend and all the words, right? A certain amount of money on a consistent basis. And that certain amount of money is what we are available for. It's what we believe is either not enough money, if our beliefs are there's never enough, it's enough money if we believe we just have enough, or it's more than enough if we believe we have more than enough, right? And of course, there'll be some practicalities here and there'll be people at a certain level of income with a certain level of expenditure that think, how can you even talk about money is what I'm available for? Of course I want more money. And what I want you to understand is that actually when you do the digging deep work, and trust me, I've earned all amounts of money. You know, I've been self-employed and earned no money, and I've been self-employed and earned multi six figures. So what I want you to know is that I've been at all stages and I'm not sat here as someone sat on a high perch going, well, I've grown up with money because I grew up with fuck all, to be honest. And so, but what I was able to see when I turned 16 was my dad's business finally took off. So I had a very clear model that entrepreneurship and self-employment can be hard and difficult, but it can also lead to wealth and riches and a life beyond your wildest dreams, which is no coincidence at the grand old age of 28, I went down that path. But The point being that your current reality in life is a result of the stories that you tell because the stories that you tell come from the beliefs and the thoughts that you think. Those beliefs and thoughts that you think ultimately dictate your actions, your actions dictate your results and round we freaking go. And so right now, if you believe that in order for something to change in your life, that something on the outside has to change, someone has to pay you more money, that you have to win the lottery, you have to, you know, your husband has to get a promotion. Whilst you hold those beliefs, you are keeping yourself stuck exactly where you are. Nothing is going to change because everything that happens on the outside of our lives is a direct result of everything that happens on the inside, including the amount of money we earn and we're available for. I have received money from the strangest of places from, you know, um, small amounts of inheritance. And I mean, literally like 50 quid, right? Small amounts of inheritance, finding money on the pavement, finding money in clothes. I found it getting a refund for something or a, you know, a credit because there was too much interest charged on something. Or I've had, oh my God, there are so many weird ways that you can receive money. But what happens is we lock ourselves into the mindset of earning money. And if we haven't earned it through our job, then it's not the same. And actually what a lot of people find is that they do actually receive money from different places, but because it's not money they earned, because probably they hold a belief around you have to work really hard to earn money, right? Because they, it's not earned, they don't notice it. And so what happens is when I say to you about what you're available for, you know, that's what I earn. 
actually what most people find is they've closed themselves off to other opportunities. They've closed themselves off to seeing things differently. And if right now listening to this, you feel triggered and you feel like, Luce, fuck off, I can't listen to this. You, you need to listen to this. Because usually what we're triggered about, and I'm not talking about deep shadow work, I'm talking about the stuff that gets our ego going and pisses us off, makes us annoyed, frustrated, judgmental, jealous, those things. Normally it's because deep down we have a desire that we've just literally smothered in self-doubt or we've got conflicting beliefs that have a massive duality. And so what you need to hear from me say this is you are creating your current reality. You have created your financial reality right now. And so if you are looking to create a different financial reality, then you are the only person that can take control of that. And that first starts with the way that you think, you believe, you act and the way ultimately the way that you treat money because if every time money comes in it goes out faster than it came in right you're basically saying i don't want to hold on to money i don't want to keep money so it's no wonder you don't have savings or anything left for a you know inverted commas rainy day because actually your behavior says you can say all you want with your mouth and your words that you want a fat savings account but if actually every time money comes in you spend it faster than anything that says a lot about what you actually believe around money that you don't feel safe to have money right and so this is what we have to do we have to dig into what we believe about money and I know for sure that doing some serious money work every single year, I mean, literally every year I've done money work, every year my income has grown, every year where that money has come from has been unexpected or different, or I've had an inspired action to do something different and the money has flowed. And, but it only comes when I do the work. It only comes when I release myself from the stories that I've been telling about that area of my life, whether it's my body, my business, my relationships. When I release a story that's limiting or conditional, funnily enough, my reality changes. But people think it's the other way around. They think that the world owes them something. They think that the universe needs to grant them their wishes before they're willing to change to be the person. But what I always say to people is this. If you won the lottery tomorrow and became a millionaire, would you know how to stay a millionaire and live like a millionaire? And most people are like, what do you mean? And I'm like, would you know how to turn that, keep that money at a value of a million so that you remain a millionaire, but also live a millionaire lifestyle? And most people are like, no. I'm like, well, then you're not ready to be a millionaire. Because much like the person who wants to be a size eight and they're a size 18, actually what you have to wrap your head around is that if you knew how to be a size eight, and I, of course medical conditions and all these other things come in play here, but if you ultimately knew how to be, you know, three stone lighter, four stone lighter, have a six pack, if you knew how to do that, you'd already done it. And when I say how, I don't mean the logic. I don't mean all the logical steps. I mean, if you were the person who was the size eight, who believed they were worthy, who believed they were sexy, who believed they were hot, who also knew the how, then you would be the size eight. And I'm not saying we're not hot at the sizes, to be clear, because I'm not always a size eight. What I'm saying is that most people associate themselves that they will only be thin when, they will only be happy when, they will only be rich when, they will only be grateful when. And what we have to remember is when we're applying a when or an if, we're making something conditional and limiting. We have to step into the feelings of the person we want to be. We have to step into feeling confident when we're not the size eight. We have to step into feeling abundant when we don't have millions in the bank. We have to make those steps before the action will come because we're physically not a match and we're not available for that thing. We can say all we want that we are, but if our body, our emotions, our beliefs are not in line with that, nothing will change. Nothing. And so people say this to me a lot about their businesses. They're like, oh, I want more clients or I want to grow my business or I want to scale this or I want my paychecks to go up or whatever. And ultimately what's happening is they're saying, so deep down there's a desire. So that's always the first step, right? You've got to get really clear on what you want. So deep down there's a desire, which is amazing. And I salute you for having a desire because some people settle so much with their life. They don't even give themselves permission to desire. And I've talked a lot about that in my Facebook group. So if you've got a desire to want something more, fucking fair play, good on you. But ultimately, you've got to then, as a next step, clear the path, right? You can want to have a beautiful flowery garden, but if it's full of weeds, you've got to do the clearing. And so you've got to do that clearance work on your limiting beliefs and the stories that say you can't to then be able to actually step into the person who has money. What would it feel like to have money? What would it feel like to have money left in a month? What would it feel like to have no debt? What would it feel like to drive a nicer car? What would it feel like? What would I believe? What would I know to be true? How would I speak? How would I act? How would I behave? How would I live? You know, my team in my network marketing business joke all the time. They're like, what would Lucy Superfox do? And actually that's not because I'm better than them or different than them, but because I'm in a place that they want to be. What would Lucy Superfox do? And that's what we have to start thinking is what would the future version of myself, what would the wealthier version of myself, what would the more abundant version of myself think here? What would they do here? What would they say here? How would they behave? Now, this is not to say that we make spending decisions beyond where we're currently at, right? It's about having an awareness of, 
what we're able to do. But if actually, you know, future version of you would treat herself, maybe right now treating yourself as a coffee, right? Maybe treating yourself right now is, you know, a new top every other month. It doesn't have to be a set of Gucci sunglasses like I did last week, right? And that has not, I, and trust me, that was well beyond my realm of reality a few years ago. But what's happened is I have learned to master both the practical, so the practical steps around spending plans, understanding my money, understanding where my money goes, looking at where's right to my money, I've you know, paid off all my debt. And it's not because debt is bad, right? Amanda Francis, she wrote the book Rich as Fuck. She talks about that debt is just a choice to pay something off over time. And that is such a powerful way to see it because it simply is, right? Isn't it funny how we don't think that mortgage is a debt? It's just a choice to pay something off over time, right? It's the same. So, you know, but what I'm saying is I paid off all my debt and done all these things, but I had to be the person that was okay with basically paying off my debt. I had to be the person that was like, yeah, I don't have debt. I had to be the person that was like, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to treat myself to that and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Because that's the other thing people do, right? We say we want more money. We say we want to spend more. We say we want to live more. And then we spend the money and we live more and then we feel guilty about it. And we wonder why it doesn't happen again. Or we wonder why we go backwards. Well, duh. You cannot feel two conflicting things about the same thing and it go well. Like you cannot be in love with someone and hate them at the same time. Like that's just bullshit, right? And if you do, if you've got some kind of toxic drama going on, A, it's toxic and B, it's a drama. So that's not going to get you anywhere in life. So what we have to get to is a clear set of desires, a clear set of beliefs around the practical, the practical steps around how we're spending understanding where our money's going. And I talk a lot about this in the ebook, guys. So this is all free. So make sure to go get the ebook. Lucyfox.com is in the shop. You'll find it. It's my um, Next Level Life, the money edition. And it's all free. And I talk you through the practical and I talk you through the emotional. And then I share with you in the video what I believe the missing key ingredient is. But those two things, mastering both the emotional and the practical, that is the key. That is the master key to creating the long-term transformation when it comes to wealth. And being able to do this over and over and over and over. And I've got quite a few clients going through the Build Your Belief um, mini course at the moment because the Build Your Belief mini course can be applied to any topic that you want. So you could do it around body, you could do it around relationships, you could do it around money, you could do it around shame, you could do it around fear, you could do it around anything. And a lot of them are doing it around money. And a lot of them have turned around and said, oh my God, you could use this for anything. I'm like, I know. Because what I've created is five modules, four bonuses, two downloads, and five worksheets. So each of the modules comes with a set of tasks. And what they come with is basically all the steps that you would ever need across any area of life. So every time you come up against some limiting beliefs, you come up across an area you can't change, you lean back into that Build Your Belief mini course, and then you're able to redo that course, right? Those five modules, the four bonuses all over again, but in the context of the area of life you want to transform. So the girls doing it at the moment, and it is actually all girls, girls doing it at the moment are doing it around money and that's a choice they've decided to make and what happens is you start to see things and learn things about yourself and sometimes and I actually believe a lot of people are afraid of personal growth um an ex of mine said to me once I don't want to do personal development because it shows me all the ways that I failed and I was like what a sad way to see things but I can also recognize that sometimes when we start unearthing things that we find more than we were willing to find and that can be terrifying because we realize we have to face up to things we didn't want to face up to and I know that to be true. You know, the last two years I found, 2020, I was kind of, I handled it. 2021, I found incredibly difficult. You know, my podcast disappeared for three months. I was barely on social media for a couple of months at a time. My businesses went up and down as I went up and down because I wasn't stable. I was, you know, my energy was inconsistent. And because I just, I didn't understand. I did. And what was happening was that I was being forced to sit with myself and forced to look at things that I didn't want to look at. And I was being forced to face up to think beliefs and stories about myself that were just bollocks. But had I not had that time to stop, had I not been forced to sit and think, then my life wouldn't have changed. And what I now have the ability to look back and see is, A, I had this massive transformation around shame and fear, which I know resonated with so many of you. You know, on my Next Level Lucy account, I shared loads about shame and what shame really looks like. And I know so many of you took value from that. And more than anything, my mini courses came from this. The three massive shifts that I made, one in business, which is now the Entrepreneur Evolution mini course, one in feeling stuck and just feeling like, I know this stuff, I know personal development, what's not happening for me, the ultimate mindset makeover. And then when I saw and recognized that I had a belief system that needed to be changed, I created the Build Your Belief mini course. So like everything out of last year has turned into something positive. But I think in the midst of something dark and negative, it can be difficult to see the light. And so what happens is when we do the work and when we, sometimes we are faced with under, needing to know more about ourselves, needing to dig deeper and especially around money, it's not always the surface level. Oh, my parents said you had to do this and money doesn't grow on trees. Like 
usually there's a much deeper story there around fear, around what will happen, around if you lose it all, around you know, that you think you're a bad person if you have debt. Like there will be a story that is so much deeper than the surface level shit that you read in a book. In a book. Like, that's the truth. And what we have to do is be willing to face that if we want to change our financial reality. Like I sit here, it's 2022, it's 8.30th of April, 2022. And I sit here and I know that I'm gonna be a motherfucking millionaire in the next few years. And that's not because I have to be, it's not because I need to be, it's because I want to be. Because I believe that good people can do good shit with money. Because I believe that when money is in the right hands of good hearted people, we can make a fucking difference. And the way that I can believe that and not feel bad about wanting to be a millionaire is because I do not believe there's only a certain amount of money on this planet. They're printing money all the fucking time. I do not believe that if I have millions, that that means someone else has less. What I see as actually what we need to do is get the right money into the right hands, right? But it doesn't even need to come out of the other hands because there is so much more than enough to go around. And one of the biggest reasons that people have a lack mentality and a lack belief around money is simply because they believe that it's finite, that they don't print it. There's only a certain amount. We can only have our share. And if someone else has more than us, then that means they're greedy. Or if we have more than someone else, then it means we're greedy. And what we have to wrap our heads around is that the world that we live in is an abundant resource of money, things, stuff, right? They're making stuff all the time. Do I believe we need to address climate change? Yes, I do. Do I believe we need to address, you know, economic distribution? Yes, I do. Do I believe we need to address what's happening in third world countries? Yes, I fucking do. But do I believe that actually the only way to do that is to be someone of influence, power, notability, have wealth, have resources and have a chip ton of time? Yeah. And so if I have time, and this is why a lot of people want to be wealthy, right? So I want to make this really clear especially if you're triggered by this. I'm really, if you're triggered by this, this is good. I'm glad you're still listening. But the reason that most people want to be wealthy is nothing to do with the money, just to be clear, and everything to do with the freedom and the choice. For me, my number one value in life is the freedom to choose. And money is the vehicle that allows us the freedom to choose what we spend our money on, where we go, how we do things, how we support other people, how we support ourselves, how we bring up families, how we invest in things. That's why I want to be wealthy so that I have freedom and choice, because I believe they're my birthright. And so what you have to wrap your head around is that there is likely bigger stories at play here that you are telling around money, around wealthy people, around what wealthy people are like, around what it means to be wealthy, about who you are, your identity, where you're from, what that would mean for you if you had money. Would people not love you anymore? Would people think that you were rich? Would you become a snob? And here's the thing, I don't think money changes you. Do you can you have moments where you feel fucking like, well, I should be able to pay for that. Yes, all the time, right? And there's things I don't want to do. I'm like, hmm, how can I pay for that? But that's not because I'm a snob, right? You could say otherwise. It's because I'm like, who could I pay to do this work who actually wants to do this work? That's what it is for me. So yes, of course, there's moments like that. But there's also a lot of moments where, you know, when there's a cause or someone's child is sick, or there's something to raise money for that I am a very, very generous donator. I have bought people whole food shops when I know they're financially struggling. I've done a million other things and I'm not sat here to make you think, oh, fucking hell, Lucy's a martyr. I'm here to sit there and tell you that money buys you choices. And they are choices that I truly desire. I desire to make a difference. I desire to live a different level of life. I desire to enjoy the luxuries that of course come with next level wealth. But what I'm also really aligned with is being someone that has freedom and choice and that comes with money. But you've got to shift your belief system if you want your life with money to change. If you want to see a different reality on the outside of your life, you've got to shift the internal belief system. This is why I've created my ebook. It's sat there, it's ready, it's waiting for you. LucySuperbox.com and then shop and you can find it there. And I'll probably pop the link here underneath this recording. So check it out. Check out the Budget Belief Mini course if you feel like your belief system needs some hash, needs some work, needs to be dug into. Because I truly know that that mini course is transformational. £279 or three month payment plan of £93 a month. It is transformational. Totally. So, my loves, that's it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you took something from it. I hope you took value from this. I hope it resonated on some level. I hope that you do the work. And as always, my wish for you is that you're in pursuit of a next level life. See you on the next episode.